our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the future Ian Machado! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Sean Strickland! You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so the UFC back in Abu Dhabi tonight with much fanfare as you would expect. We're inside the Etihad Arena, which of course has hosted many UFC events dating to its opening back in 2021. I mean, it's gold. It's a gold arena. It's beautiful. This place is top notch. From top to bottom, it is absolutely stunning. The fights, though, have been the reason that we keep coming back. They have always been good, and the energy in the crowd is like nothing we see in many places. Tremendous body kick lands from this guy. Left hook counter there yet again. It won't take many of those. Again, that body kick, that body kick is going to really take effect on it. And it won't take very long. And now they are throwing both sides with prediction. So more output, at least in the early going. Wow, how about the roundhouse kick? Nice job to set up the counter there. He waited patiently, and when his opponent got a little bit over-aggressive, he greeted him with a beautiful counter. Nicely done. Under three minutes now to go in the round. That is a clean strike, and it gets right through the goal. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Big power shot there. All right, that calf kick starting to show some visible signs of bruising now. And it's exciting him. He's excited to see that all the work that they've done in preparation is showing itself in the octagon. Oh, that's going to soften him up. Massive knee to the body. You know what I'm talking about, but certainly something that could be a source of adversity here moving forward. Cut man in there quickly to try to shore it up. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with round two. Ooh, big knee. All right, same bat time, same bat channel. You think he's going to look to set up that hook again here? I mean, you can see it, John. You can see him doing it. You can see him sneaking looks to see what he's doing. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Big right hand there. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. 
Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab. But unable to land. No! Nice leg kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fight a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, back and forth we go. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cutter. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. Okay, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, high, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test. We approach the two-minute mark in round two. Oh! Back to the feet! Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with... Oh! every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are good. Another one! Takedown defense holds up. 30 seconds left. Oh, Tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Ten minutes in the can. All right, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target, and his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, so here we go. The crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. You saw in the previous round, both fighters got rocked. I don't think the scorecards are going to be needed for this one. No, the scorecard will not be needed. If oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So I'm going to hit you, and then you hit me. Back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights I've called all year. Yeah, one of the best fights, and... It, it, the, the blood, the injuries only add to the intrigue. It only adds to who's going to continue down the path and get the hand raised. Both of these guys are so tough, they really have laid it on the line. Great upper body movement defensively. Slip. Big shot on the feet. Now he's backed up. Strickland's definitely taking aim at that cut right now. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of... This is big. That's big. Two minutes now to go in this one. There is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight.
We now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, two seconds of round number three. To play the winner by knockout, the future Ian Machado Gary! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.